think that's a wonderful question. I think that adventure means that the future is open. It means our lives are still in process. It means that we still have options ahead of us. In the spirit of the book on Celtic spirituality, uh, process theology and Celtic wisdom, I spoke about how these Celtic monks set off across the ocean and across the sea in little boats, letting God guide them to their place of resurrection. They didn't entirely know where the destination was going to be, but they trusted that God would lure them forward towards something new and something blessed. You could say the same things going on in our own lives, that each day is unsettled, that the future is open, that in the course of our daily life, we make decisions. Uh, to quote a series of books for children, we choose our own adventures. And when we choose one path, all sorts of possibilities open up and we choose another path and a whole other array of possibilities open up. The thing that's unique about process theology is that adventure also involves God. Now, some people believe that God has everything settled, that the future is decided in advance and nothing new is going to happen. But process thought believes that God is our companion in history, that God is doing a new thing, and that God is responding to human life, to our choices and the choices of other creatures, that God is alive and adventurous and doing a new thing. Again, let's look at a, an issue such as global climate change. There are Christians who believe that the entire future is in God's hands, and whether or not the earth becomes uninhabitable is entirely out of our reach. It's already been decided. Process thought believes that what we do today makes a difference tomorrow, that the future of the planet is wide open, that humans are not all powerful, but they exert an impact on what's going to come. Having the future as adventurous and our lives as adventurous reminds us that we are ever, always making decisions that shape the world, that ethics is at the heart of life, that we, by every decision, either improve the world and bring it closer to God's vision or take it further away from God's vision. So the future is open. It's still in God's hands because our fellow adventurer God is always with us, always our companion, always giving us possibilities. Our life is a holy adventure of surprise, of novelty, of new things. And I believe that's the biblical story. The Bible doesn't tell the story of a God who's got everything settled in advance. As a matter of fact, the history of the Israelites and the history of Jesus and his first followers is about new things being injected into history and God calling and we respond. So I believe that the Celts, when they went on these adventures, believed that God was with them, that God inspired them, and that God would bring them to the place of their resurrection. as. Uh, Feminist theologian Nell, Martin's, Nell Morton says, the journey is home, that God is our companion calling us to do a new thing, that God's mercies are new every morning, and that we can be God's companions in healing the world.